The following video is brought to you by Yellow Jacket. Visit yellowjacket.com to find out why Yellow Jacket is the industry standard in refrigerant hoses, tools, manifolds, and vacuum pumps, and many other tools. We got a no cool call. The condenser fan motor's running, but the compressor's not. A little York unit on some rental property that we take care of. Look at this. Yeah, the ants have over the ants have overtaken this unit. I mean all the way up here. Condenser coil is degrading. We're gonna probably have to swap this condenser out. Let's check this capacitor. It's a 35.5. No, I'm sorry. It's a 40 slash 5. That's common to Hermatic. Yeah, we got 40. And we got 5 on the fan. Let's see if the hard start's any good. That compressor might be burnt up. Got a hard start on it already. We're looking for 189 to 227 microfarads. It looks like we don't have it. All right, I'm gonna grab a new hard start off the truck, test it, and see if that'll make this compressor start. All right, guys, the compressor is either out on thermal overload or the common wire's burnt. So I'm gonna remove the top now and investigate that. All right, guys, all the wires are intact, and I made sure that there was refrigerant in the system, and there is. The compressor's hot as hell. It's full of ants in here, full of leaves. The uh, maintenance guy for these duplexes is going to see if they got some ant poison, but we'll have to clean this thing up for sure. All right, we got the ant hill broken up off the condenser. Still got to wash it. I broke this one up, but there's no ants anymore. You can tell there used to be. You can see the holes, but there's we only seen one or two ants, maybe a handful of them. He's going to look, the maintenance man's going to see if he's got a big shop vac where we can suck all the. All right, guys, I got it all cleaned out. Got all the leaves and ants out of it. I'm gonna go ahead and rebuild it with a new hard start and stuff before I wash it with the water and all that. That way it's not all wet right here and I don't have to slop around in the mud. All right, we're gonna use the same capacitor since it was testing good. We got a new hard start here. Here's our new start capacitor. 
We're looking for 88 to 108 on the microfarads. Y'all should be able to see my meter. That other one looked like it was too big. Yeah, you can see right there we got 107 microfarads. So this uh, star capacitor is good. That other one was not. I did not cool the compressor off with a water hose. Let's see if, since uh, since I gave it a, all that time while I was cleaning up, if it has reset. If not, we'll have to put a water hose to it. This is our compressor. This is a compressor. Put it on continuity. Nope, the compressor still has not reset. Unless that's the condenser. No, that's the condenser motor. Okay, hold on, let's try that again. Okay, the compressor's closed. this potential relay. Okay. Potential relay has been mounted. They don't give you much room in these little York cabinets to add start kits. But I'm gonna find me a place right here and I'm gonna fasten the start capacitor. I am not just gonna let it dangle. Yellow striped goes to Hermatic. The red one goes to Common. And the black one goes on the contactor. All, right, now all we gotta do is mount the capacitor back. screw in there.
right guys your run capacitors they these york cabinets the way they're made on this particular model you got to mount them upside down they came from the factory that way because if you try to mount them upright you're not going to have enough wire to uh, reach everything uh try to clean up some of these wires put some zip ties Okay, that looks much better. Let's see if she'll start. <clears throat> Right, guys, this is clean as she's gonna get. Look at that condenser coil. There's no way in hell I'm putting chemicals on this thing. <laughs> but it needs to be replaced, but it's up and running. Alright guys, thank y'all for watching. We'll see y'all on the next one.